think Corey would be upset if I just popped up and said hello. Upset with her own mother? Why? I do it all the time. Well, the children are hardly set up yet. They're still practically on their honeymoon. Oh, she's probably dying for your advice. You know young brides. Not Corey. She gives her own advice. All right, let's go home. I'll just be 10 minutes. Uh, no longer. I'll be circling the block. I can see I have... <clears throat> Haven't got much of a law career ahead of me. Good. I hope we starve. I hope they find us dead in each other's arms. <laughs> Frozen skinny lovers found on 10th Street. Then we are in love again? Yes, we're in love again. It's the bed. It's the bed. Yes. I hope it's the bed. Ruby nailed. Surprise! Oh, no. What? She couldn't wait. Your mother? I invited her for Tuesday. Sorry, I can't entertain your mother now. I've got a case in court in the morning. She's gonna hate it. She's gonna think we're gypsies living in an empty store. I don't get you, Corey. Five minutes ago, this place was paradise. Now, suddenly, it's Cannery Row. She doesn't understand, Paul. She has a different set of values. She's practical, not young like us. Well, I'm 26 and cold as hell. Me one thing. Oh, Don't tell her about the rent. If oh. she asks you, tell her you're not sure yet. Okay. What do I'm not sure yet? I have to know what my rent is. I'm a college graduate. Can't you lie a little for me? I mean, you don't have to tell her it's 125. Oh, go ahead. How much is it then? 60. S 65. What? 75, all right? $75.63 a month. All right. Including okay. gas and electricity. Yes. Paul, will she believe that? Well, anybody would believe that. It's the 125 that's hard to swallow. Yes, hello. Yes, it is. You what? Thank you. Thank you very much for calling. That's fine. That's just great. The furniture's not coming till tomorrow. But they're sending up a mattress and some blankets for tonight. Won't that be cozy? Oh, it'll be all right, Paul. Just please promise me one thing. Don't let her stay here too long, because I've got a case, case in, in court. court in the morning, I know. Hello, Mother. <laughs> hello, Mom. I can't breathe. Take it easy, Mother. I can't catch my breath. You should have rested, Mom. I did, but there were always more stairs. <laughs> Paul, help her. Uh, what's the step? Oh, more stairs? <laughs> Mother, would you like a glass of water? No, oh, thank you, dear. I can't swallow yet. Here, sit down, Mom. Oh, my. <sighs> it's not that high, Mother. I know, dear. It's not bad, really. What is it? Nine flights? It's five. We don't count the front street. I didn't think I'd make it. If I'd known the people on the third floor, I'd have gone to visit them. Oh, gee, Mother, what a pleasant surprise. I'm not staying. Aunt Harriet's honking the horn for me in ten minutes. Just one good look around, that's all. I'm not sure I'm coming back. You can't tell anything yet. I wish you'd arrived after the furniture had come. Don't worry. I have a marvelous imagination. Mm. Well? Corey, baby, it's beautiful. You hate it. No, no, I love it. It's a charming apartment. I love it. Oh, it's not your kind of apartment. I knew you wouldn't like it. I love it. Oh, didn't I say I loved it? She said she loved it. I knew I said it. Oh, do you really, Mother? I mean, are, are you absolutely crazy in love with it? Yes, it's very cute, and there's so much you can do with it. I told you she hated it. Cora, you don't give a person a chance. At least let me see the whole apartment. This is the whole apartment. It's a nice large room. There's a bedroom? Where? One flight up. It's just two little steps. See, one, two, three. Oh, split level. 
Where's the bedroom? Through here. No, in here. This is the bedroom. No, it's really just a dressing room, but I'm going to use it as a bedroom. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, and you can just put a bed in here. That's right. How? Oh, it'll fit. I, I measured the room. A double bed? No, a, a large single. Oh, well, they're nice. Where will Paul sleep? With me. Large single. But you won't be able to get to the closet. Yes, you will. Without climbing over the bed? Well, you have to climb over the bed. Oh, that's a good idea. And you can just hang your clothes from the pipe. That's right. I mean, everything is just temporary, Mother. What is it they say in Harper's Bazaar? It, it won't take shape until the bride's own personality becomes clearly defined. I don't know. I think it's you right now. What's in here? Oh, the bathroom. The bathroom. This is the kitchen. It's very cozy. It's chilly in here. Do you feel a draft? You stand over here, Mom. It's warmer. Mother, what you need is a drink. Hey, Paul, would you run down and get a bottle of scotch? No. Yeah. Well, you certainly have lots of wall space. What color are you going to paint it? It's painted. Very attractive. Ooh. I've got to go. No, Mother, not until you have a drink. Paul, aren't you going to get the scotch? Well, I'll stay for just one drink. Good, and I'll get the scotch. But not here, it's cold. Yes, I've noticed Get that. some cheese. Cheese. Paul! I just want to give my fella a kiss and wish him luck. Thanks, Mom. Your new home is beautiful. Yes, it's, it's a perfect little apartment. It is. Thanks. Then you do like it. Like it? Why, where else can you get anything like this for 75, 63 a month? Are you sure, Paul? Six flights of stairs again. It's the only way to travel. 